From the menu, choose year end. First, check the tax year to report on is showing 2022-2023. Step 1 is to review your employees' pay values. The purpose of this step is to check values and make any necessary corrections before the payroll year end is completed. Choose Review Employee Pay and you'll see a list of the employees that you've paid in this tax year. You'll also see their total pay to date here. To view more detailed information for each individual employee, click View P11 next to their name. To view the P11 for all employees at once, click View P11 for all employees. You can print these reports or export them as a PDF. Once you've checked each employee, you can return to the year-end steps. Close your report and click Return to Year-end. Select the checkbox to confirm Step 1 is complete. Step 2 of the payroll year-end is the Employer Payment Summary Submission, also known as an APS. This is your final APS of the tax year. This submission should be sent to HMRC by the 19th of April. You can see a countdown to this date here. To start your final APS, click Submit APS. If you're closing your PAYE scheme, select this checkbox and enter your cessation date. If you're not closing your PAYE scheme, do not select the checkbox. To continue, click Next. Check your CIS deductions suffered and recovery and compensation values. These are your year-to-date values and they're automatically calculated based on what you've processed in the tax year. To continue and submit the APS, click Next. To change your saved HMRC user credentials, click Change. If there's been no change to these details since your last full payment submission, click Submit. Once the submission is successful, you'll be notified here. Step 3 is to distribute your P60 certificates. This should be completed by the 31st of May and you can see the countdown here. A P60 certificate will be produced for all employees who are still employed by you on the 5th of April. To print your P60s, click Print P60 Certificates. You can view the P60 for each employee individually by clicking the link next to their name. Alternatively, view them all at once by clicking the View All link. You can print them onto plain paper or save them to your computer. Once you have completed this step, click Return to Year End. To mark this step as complete, select the checkbox. Submitting the supplementary FPS is not a mandatory step. This is only applicable if you have made any corrections to the 2022-2023 tax year processing after you have processed and submitted your final pay run of the tax year. To do this, click Submit Supplementary FPS and follow the on-screen instructions. Supplementary FPS will automatically include any corrections you have made since your last pay run. These corrected values will be sent to HMRC. If at any point you do go back and correct the tax year, you should come in and submit the supplementary FPS to let HMRC know about the changes. If you have not corrected your payroll since your last pay run of 2022-2023, you do not need to complete this step.